so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we get to go on this really big boat. Whoa, it's enormous. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited because you and I are here at Pier Dolphin Cruises in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we get to explore and learn about all kinds of sea creatures and maybe see some dolphins. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, we made it onto the boat. <laughs> yeah. And this boat is awesome because it's not a regular boat. This is a really big boat for lots of people. It's called a catamaran. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the seats. <laughs> Whoa! And look at this over here. Yeah! This is a really giant net. Woo! <laughs> but this net, this isn't for catching fish. No, this net is really important in case you drop something over the side. You can just pick it up, woo, <laughs> so it doesn't get lost. Woo! <laughs> okay, we'll put this net back here. Whoa, and check it out! Yeah, it's a giant brush! Woohoo! <laughs> so silly. This brush isn't a toothbrush. No, this brush is really good for cleaning the boat. You can scrub it nice and clean from dirt, or maybe if there are barnacles. Yeah, we'll scrub like this. <laughs> Squeaky clean! Yeah! Okay, we'll put the brush back. I think we did enough cleaning for today. Whoa, let's see what else there is. Whoa, do you see it? Look at this! The ceiling is my favorite color, orange! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and this is a really important ceiling. Yeah, it has a lot of life vests. Look at it. Whoa. Yeah, these life vests are super important because if you're ever in the water, they help you to float. <laughs> you can put them on just like this. Hello! And then you take a clip And then you're all clipped in and can stay super safe. <laughs> yeah. But look, it's some captain's hats. Whoa, <laughs> one hat and two hats. Whoa, <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's my friend, Captain Christian. And he is a real life captain. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Uh, but what is a captain exactly? Well, it's a very important job. We drive the boat around. We make sure everybody's safe, and we make sure everybody has a great time on our boat. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really awesome job. And maybe one day, when you grow up, you can be a captain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, Captain Christian, it looks like it's really complicated driving a boat. There's all these buttons and levers. Yes, there's a lot. Whoa. Right over here, these are called a throttle. Oh, cool. And the throttle, if you push it forward, the boat goes forward. And if you pull it back, the boat goes backwards. OK, let's try it. We'll push the throttle forward. Yeah, and that makes the boat go forward, and that makes it go backwards. Okay, cool. And this is a steering wheel, very important part of the boat, and it turns the boat to the right or to the left. You Whoa. wanna try it? Yeah, I wanna try it. Here we go. I think I'm almost ready to be a captain. Well, look at this. It looks just like a steering wheel on a car, except this one's really big because <laughs> it's a really big boat. Whoa, <laughs> and what about this right here? That's the compass. That tells us what's north, south, east, and west and which direction we want to go. Whoa, that's so cool. It tells you all the different directions and where to go. <laughs> hey, and look, there's a microphone. Hello, hello, welcome aboard everyone. Captain Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> hey! I am so excited to see dolphins with you today. But first, I think you and I should learn more about ocean animals. Good thing I'm here with my good friend, Mackenzie Mungai. <laughs> yeah, and she's a real life marine biologist. Whoa. Uh, hi, Mackenzie. Hi. <laughs> Mackenzie, what exactly does a marine biologist do? 
A marine biologist is somebody who studies the ocean and aims to protect it. Ooh, and what's your favorite part about being a marine biologist? My favorite part about being a marine biologist is being able to study it and educate others about the importance of protecting it so that we can ensure the longevity of our planet. Whoa, that sounds really, really important. <laughs> hey, well, we're trying to learn about ocean animals. Maybe Mackenzie can help us. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we have some sea creatures here. What's this guy called? This one is a horseshoe crab, and this is my favorite animal in our touch tank today. Whoa, can I pick him up? Of course. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle though. Hello, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. Whoa, look at all his legs. <laughs> yeah. How many legs does he have? Whoa, hey, let's count the horseshoe crab's legs together. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten legs. Whoa, that's a lot of legs. A lot of legs. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Mackenzie, look. It looks like he has all these barnacles on his back. He does have Whoa. all of these barnacles on his back. The reason that he has these barnacles is because barnacles are parasites. So they do attach to the animals in the ocean that are very slow moving and our horseshoe crabs are pretty slow moving. So they have tons of barnacles attached to them, but they're also a great health indicator because if they attach to animals in the ocean that should be moving pretty fast, mm -hmm. it's normally an indication that those animals are probably sick. Whoa, so if you see a turtle that's supposed to go really fast with barnacles, then maybe the turtle is sick and needs a doctor. Whoa, <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty cool. I like you, Mr. Horseshoe Crab. I'm gonna put you back in the water. Bye-bye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and Mackenzie, I think I know what this is right here. Hey, hello. <laughs> look, this is a starfish. It is. Whoa, look at how cool he is. His back is kind of like a greenish gray color. And his belly, whoa, his belly is the color yellow. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, whoa, <laughs> he's kind of tickly. What are all these little pokey things? All of his little pokey things are called his tube feet, and that is how he will be able to move across the seafloor. Whoa, he has a lot of really cool tube feet. Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> okay, horse, uh, this starfish is pretty cool, and so is the horseshoe crab. I'm gonna put him back in the tank now. Okay, bye-bye, starfish. Whoa, and it looks like there are a lot of shells in here. Whoa, there's one right here, and this one, whoa, is really <laughs> heavy. It looks kind of like a rock. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What are these kind of shells? So this one that is heavy like a rock is a clam shell. Whoa, it's a clam shell. And what about this one? And this one is called a king's crown conch. And these are two different species of shells, but they're also in two separate classifications. This one has two identical matching halves, just like your hands. You put them together, it's a bivalve. Just like the clam. Whoa, and is this a bivalve too? This one's not a bivalve. This one's called a mollusk. It does not have oh. two identical matching halves. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Bivalve mollusk. <laughs> and this one looks like it has a king's crown on its head. King Blippi <laughs> with the really cool mollusk. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> well, these are pretty cool shells, but I'm going to let them go back into the water. Whoa, Mackenzie, check this out. Look at this guy. It looks like he's in a mollusk shell, but he is. He's he's not a sea snail. He's not. This is a hermit crab. And the hermit crab is different from the mollusk because the mollusks are snails, but they will also make their own home. So Whoa. they do make their own shells. Whoa. These ones just borrow the homes from them. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hermit Crab. <laughs> he's just borrowing his home. He didn't make him himself but he sure is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, whoa, and it looks like he has a little pincher there. I don't want to get pinched, so <laughs> I'm gonna put him back in the tank. Okay, bye-bye, Mr. Hermit Crab. Bye-bye. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, Mackenzie, look at this. This is a really big shell. What kind of creature is it? This one is called a lightning whelk. Whoa, <laughs> you mind if I hold it? Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Hello, lightning whelk. Whoa, hey Mackenzie, 
Is this also a mollusk? It is also a mollusk. Whoa, it's so big, just like the small mollusk. And it has one of these things too. Uh, what's this exactly? So this is its foot, but it's also called an operculum. And it's entirely made out of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernail. Whoa, operculum. Hmm, that's a really big word, but I'll just call it the snail's foot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, a lot of these sea creatures also have feet, just like you and I. That's pretty neat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put this guy back in the water. Whoa, it's been pretty <laughs> cool learning about all these different sea creatures. Well, Mackenzie, what are those right there? So these are sponges. Do you notice Ooh. the difference between the two of them? Well, this one right here looks kind of new. <laughs> it's the color yellow. Um, what about this one? Well, this one, hmm, it looks like a sponge, but it's a little bit dirty. It mm. is dirty. Cool. I just found this one. This one's fresh off the beach. They are living here in Tampa Bay. <gasps> and they're really great for our environment because they're able to filter hundreds of gallons of water every single day. Can you find anything out of the ordinary on this sponge? Whoa, look at this sponge. It filtered a lot of things out of the water. Look, there's some blue string and yarn, and it looks like a little piece of grass too. Whoa, that's so awesome, Mackenzie, that you found this one in the ocean. Whoa, and this one looks like someone cleaned it out, right? Yeah, exactly. So we do take our sponges, we do harvest them here in Florida, and we get them clean, and you are able to use them in the shower Ooh. or to do your dishes as well. <laughs> <laughs> or even maybe to wash your car. <laughs> wow, sponges are so cool. Thanks so much, Mackenzie. Of course. Whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those sea creatures. And now I think it's time for you and I to look at some dolphins but we're gonna make sure that we look at the dolphins out in their natural habitat, because we always wanna be kind and respectful to all the sea creatures that we see. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I think it's time for us to go sailing! Come on! <laughs> I am so excited to set sail! <laughs> yeah! Let's go help Captain Christian undock the boat. Come on! <laughs> hey, Captain Christian. Hey, Blippi. Whoa, what are you doing? We're getting ready to untie all the dock lines and head out into the bay. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited to see some real dolphins. <laughs> well, what's this right here? That's a cleat. So any knot that's tied properly will be able to come undone no matter how much pressure's on it. Oh, cool. So we just push it open like this, take Whoa. it off the cleat. That was pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, this is the bow line. That means, bow means the front of the boat. And then these are the fenders, and we're gonna put those inside. These keep the boat from banging against the dock. Okay, <laughs> whoa, these are pretty big fenders. Yeah, good job. Whoa, <laughs> we All did right. it. Go ahead on board. Okay. <laughs> so Captain Christian's gonna start up the engine, and I'm gonna go look for some dolphins. <laughs> yeah! the boat all over the ocean, we finally found some dolphins! <laughs> yeah, let's look. Let's see if we can spot them. <laughs> Whoa, do you see the dolphin? see the dolphins! Look, it looks like they're friends! Hello, dolphins! Whoa, this is so cool! Whoa, look, they're so close! Hello, they're swimming under the boat! Look at what we found! Yeah, this is a seabird sanctuary, and it's called Bird Island because no one else is allowed to go on it. It's just for the birds. <laughs> and this island is filled with a lot of birds. Last year, over 1,500 birds hatched. Whoa! <laughs> and that's a lot of birds. <laughs> and there's all different kinds that live here. 
Let's see if we can take a closer look. Whoa, look at all the birds. These birds right here are really beautiful because they have really fancy feathers and they're the color white. Their names are the egrets. <laughs> and they like to nest together because it keeps them safe and because they're friends. <laughs> and look, they've made little nests out of different branches and twigs so that they can put their eggs there. And after the eggs are laid, they hatch. And you have lots of little baby egrets. Ooh, so cute. Whoa. And look over here. There are also some pink birds. They're called roseate spoonbills. Hmm, let's see if we can see those. <laughs> yeah. And they're called spoonbills because their mouths or their beaks have really silly ends to them. It's kind of rounded like a spoon. <laughs> so you might eat soup. <laughs> but the spoonbills, they like to eat their food with their spoon-like beak. <laughs> yeah. And they eat all kinds of things like insects, fish, and even frogs. Ribbit, woo. <laughs> well, this is really cool thing up close. Oh, you see that? Look, it's a little baby egret. Yeah. He's sitting just under his mama. Hello. <laughs> Whoa, this bird island is really cool. Not only are there roseate spoonbills and egrets, there are also pelicans. Hmm. I don't know if I see any pelicans yet, but keep your eyes open and maybe we can spot one. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I'm gonna keep looking at the birds and see if we can find a pelican. This right here is one of the birds that lives on Bird Island. It's called a pelican. Ooh. Pelicans are really cool because when they're born, they are hatchlings. They hatch out of eggs. And they're really small, like the size of a baseball. <laughs> and they don't have any feathers, so they look kind of funny. <laughs> but after about a month, these pelicans will grow about the size of a football, start to get lots of feathers. <laughs> They're pretty amazing. Let's look. Whoa, and come here. There's even co more cool birds. Yeah, see this black bird over here? That bird is called an anhinga. Ooh, that's a tricky word to say, anhinga. Well, look, a pelican! Hello, Mr. Pelican! <laughs> well, the anhinga is pretty amazing because they dive really deep into the water to catch their food. They like to eat crabs and also fish, just like a pelican. The cool thing about the anhinga is they're really, really good at holding their breath. So when they go under water, they can catch the crabs and fish and they can hold their breath. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. And he's just hanging out in the sun. Hello, Mr. Nhinga. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep seeing if I can discover any more birds. Hey, 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 I had so much fun with you today, learning about all kinds of marine animals. <laughs> yeah, we saw dolphins and birds and all types of creatures that crawl on the sea floor. <laughs> And we saw some really cool people who did some really amazing jobs, like a captain or a marine biologist. Whoa, it was so much fun. <laughs> Seeing those dolphins in real life was amazing. <laughs> they were so cool. Whoa, look at this. It's time for a bubbles lab. And today, we're going to make an ocean in a bottle. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. So many shells, little animals. When you shake it up, whoa, <laughs> it looks like the ocean. <laughs> okay, we get to make one of our own. We'll start with a water bottle. And I made sure to take off all the different stickers and things that are on the outside so you can see right through it. <laughs> okay, first, we need water. So I'm gonna take one cup of water, pour it in here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at it go. It's already looking like the ocean. <laughs> and we wanna make it look like the actual ocean. So we're gonna put a little bit of blue food coloring, just one drop. One. 
and maybe we'll put a second one. Ooh, <laughs> that's just the right amount. And now we're gonna pour it in the bottle. Be really careful, this is a little tricky. All the water in the bottle. <laughs> this is so cool. And now it's my favorite part. We have seashells <laughs> and sea creatures. Oh, <laughs> all kinds. Look, we have jellyfish. <laughs> we have whoa, an octopus. Hmm, <laughs> they're so silly looking. Yeah. We have some crabs. <laughs> crabs in. Mm, yeah, let's put in a, a sea turtle. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so let's grab our animals and we want to get some shells too. So just pick out whatever shells look really cool. We have a white shell. Whoa! Look, this one's like a little spiral shell. Hmm, and I'll just grab a couple more. <laughs> okay, now we take our shells, put them in the bottle, and now our sea creatures. Turtle, octopus, jellyfish, <laughs> and hermit crab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Once you have all your shells, animals in the water. The only thing left is we need to put in some oil. But first, I think that needs a little more water. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the right amount. And now we can put in some oil. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Look at it go! The oil's gonna help make lots of bubbles. Because oil and water, they don't like to mix. <laughs> Almost to the top! Almost to the top! <laughs> Whoa! We're almost done. This looks amazing! <laughs> okay, the next thing we need to do is make sure this doesn't get really messy. Mm -mm. We want to keep it nice and clean. So, we're gonna take some of this. Plumber's tape, and I just wrap it around the top of the bottle so that no water or oil will leak out. Then you can ask a grown up to use scissors, make a little cut, and now we can put on the cap. <laughs> and to be extra safe, we're gonna use tape. And this tape is my favorite color. It's the color orange. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use a little tape. And yeah, just wrap it around. Make sure no oil, water get out. We don't want to mess. Okay. <laughs> then press the tape. You have an ocean in a bottle. Whoa! And my favorite part, shaking it up. Whoa! Look at it. It looks like the animals are swimming around the bottle really fast in the ocean. <laughs> and the shells, they stay at the bottom, just like in real life. <laughs> this was so much fun. We made an ocean in the bottle. We saw dolphins in real life. We visited Bird Island and did so many amazing things learning about sea creatures. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Huh? <gasps>
Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo, there sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out! I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller! Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello, I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow, what a great friendship. Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy! Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Choo! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi. Don't forget the boss. <laughs> Hello. It's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Santa Barbara Marina in Santa Barbara, California, and this marina has a lot of boats. Yeah, do you like boats? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how they float on the water and they go from one place to the next, and you can see things along the way. Cool, shall we find a boat that we can explore? Yeah, let's go. Whoa, cool! Look at this boat! Wow, it's the color yellow! Whoa! Can you think of anything that's the color yellow? Oh, yeah! Like the sun! Or a sunflower! Cool! Hey, what about any fruit that's the color yellow? Yeah, a banana! Good job! <laughs> oh, hey! Here's some black letters. This must be the name of this boat. Lil Toot. Lil Toot? Whoa, that's a fun name. Toot Toot. Whoa, cool. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Captain Fred. Oh, Captain Fred, I'm Blippi. Wait, Captain, are you the captain of this boat? I am the captain. Whoa, that is really cool. What does this boat do? 
We take people back and forth across the harbor all day long. Wow. So this boat takes people back and forth, back and forth. So it's like a passenger boat, just like how there's passenger buses. But this is a boat. Cool. Do you mind if we hop on board? Welcome aboard. Just watch your head. All right. Come on. <laughs> wow. Check out this boat. Wow, it's so big and roomy in here. Yeah, I bet they can fit a lot of passengers on this boat. Whoa, whoa, look at these. Whoa, <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, a little life jacket or a life preserver. Whoa, definitely looks a little small for me. Oh, I can't even get it on. It's so small. Oh, these must be for children. Cool. <laughs> All right, we'll put those back. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Whoa, I wonder what's in here. Whoa, yeah! A lot of life jackets. Whoa, and these are a lot bigger. I bet this would definitely fit me. All right, let's try it on. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> yeah, life jackets help you float when you're going in the water. Yeah, you might have worn one when you go swimming. All right, we'll put that right there. Oh, hey, wait a second. It even says Lil Toot. <laughs> cool. All right, there's that. Okay, let's see what else this boat has for us. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Doesn't this look like the boat's floor? Yeah, well actually it's something really cool. Let me show you. All right, I have to move these first. Whoa. And this one. All right, now for the special thing. All right. <laughs> Do you know what it's gonna be? All right, lift up this hatch. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah! This is the engine of the boat! Whoa! This looks like an inline four cylinder, 56 horsepower diesel! No way! Whoa! So cool! Ooh, and right here, yeah, that's the oil filter. Yep, definitely the oil filter. Cool! <laughs> All right, we should probably close this so then we can go for a ride. Whoa. See you later, diesel engine. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Whoa. What's this called in here? It's the pilot house. It's where you steer the boat. Oh, the pilot house? Whoa, check it out. Speaking of steering the boat, whoa, it looks like the steering wheel. All right, turn it left. Whoa, turn it right. Whoa, cool. What's the left and the right called on a boat? Left side's the port side. Okay. And the starboard side is the right side. Wow, cool. And sometimes I see colors at night on boats on the left and the right the side. The red side is the port side. Okay. And the green side is the starboard side. Whoa, cool. Speaking of red, whoa, what do these knobs do? The red one's the throttle, makes the boat go faster or slower. Okay. The black one makes the boat go forward and backwards. Okay, so this one is the throttle. You push it forward, it goes super fast. But then, if you pull it back, it goes a lot slower. Ooh, and this one, if you push it forward, you go forward. And if you push it back and pull it back, you go in reverse. Whoa, cool. Hey, is this a radio? Whoa, hey. Hello, hello, Marina. This is Deckhand Blippy, and I'm here to help Captain Fred. We're gonna take a ride, and it's gonna be fun. <laughs> cool. All right, put that back. Woo! And this, yeah. Can I pull it? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh yeah! It's the horn or the tutor on this boat. <laughs> cool. What else do you have here? What's this? This tells you how deep the water is, and this is the actual bottom of the water. Oh. And when we're out in the water, you'll actually see fish go by here. Okay, so if there's a fish underneath us between the bottom of the ocean and the boat, 
Then you'll see a dot. Yeah, we'll be able to see fish. Cool. All right. This is so much fun. I'm so excited to go for a ride. Is there any safety things we need to know about? Absolutely. Before we leave, we have to talk about safety. Okay, I'm ready. We are Coast Guard certified to carry 19 passengers. Wow, that's a lot. Children's life preservers are underneath the seats in separate containers. Oh yeah. And the adult life preservers are in the large box in the center. <laughs> Children's life preservers are for people that are under 90 pounds. Okay. And there's also life floats on top of the boat. Oh, cool. Are we ready to take it for a spin? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Whoa, all right, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, this boat is just floating on the water. And you can tell that we're still in the marina. Yeah, because there's a lot of boats. Whoa, boats? Speaking of boats, that one is so massive. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, check it out. Well, United States of America. Yeah. Boats love to fly their flags of the country that they're from. And this boat, yeah, it resides in the USA. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, do you see all those sailboats? Yeah, you can tell they're sailboats because the big mast in the center goes way high and that's what holds the sails. Whoa, cool! <laughs> Sailboats are really cool because they're powered by the wind! They don't even need an engine or a motor or nothing! <laughs> wow, what a beautiful day it is out here! It's nice and sunny. Good thing we have the top. I might get sunburned. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see those birds? Wow, there's so many of them! Yeah, those are actually California pelicans. Whoa, they're so big. Whoa, hello. Hey, wow, their beaks are so massive. All right, see you later, pelicans. Bye-bye. Whoa, what a fun day this has been. Hasn't it been fun? Yeah, I love boats. <laughs> Hey, and if you're wondering why I'm not wearing a life jacket, it's because this is a Coast Guard certified boat. Yeah, and I'm older than the age requirement. <laughs> Hello, sea lions! Hey, it's me, Blippi! Wow, they look so relaxed! Just hanging out on that green buoy? That's a lot of sleeping. Oh! Oh, this is so much fun! Thanks for taking us for a spin! Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Do you mind if I steer the boat for a little? Do it. Wow. Whoa. This is really cool. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Do you mind? Go for it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you have a fun time on the boat with me today? Yeah! Well, this is the end of this video, but 
If you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah. B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Today, you and I are going to draw a fish. Wow, I love fish. Yeah, they just love to swim underwater. Some are big, some are small, some are fast, some are slow. And today, you and I are going to draw a purple fish. All right. I'm going to do a long arch like that. Then I'm going to go straight up and then do the opposite. Whoa, yeah. See that really wide triangle? Yeah, that is the tail fin. All right, now for the lips. I'm going to draw a sideways heart, just like that. Oh, so cute. And a small circle for the eye. Ooh, a curved line. Yeah, to separate the back from the front. Oh, there we go. All right, and what does it have on its body? Not fur, yeah, scales. All right, there we go. Whoa, this fish is so cool. All right, I'm gonna draw a top fin up there. Looks like a triangle, right? Ooh, and a bottom fin. But I can't forget about some bubbles. Woo, woo, whoa, yeah. So cute. Well, if you wanna draw more with me, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. All right, see you again, bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at a marina. Yeah, marinas are a body of water where a bunch of boats live. Oh, <laughs> so cool. But hey, check this out. Wow, today, we're at the Marine Life Center in Bellingham, Washington. And you and I are gonna learn a lot about some cool creatures and fish. Yeah, I love fish. Woohoo, let's go. Wow. Oh, hey, who are you? Hi, my name's Casey. Oh, who are you? Nice to meet you, Casey. I'm Flippy, what are you doing? I'm painting a picture of some of my ocean friends on the ceiling here. Wow, are those sharks right there? They sure are, they're dog sharks. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a very good painting. But hey, do you mind if I go explore the marine life center? Please do. <laughs> wow, check this place out. Wow, this is going to be so much fun learning about marine life. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, do you see that? That is a skate. Yeah, it's hard to see because it blends in so good with the rock surrounding it. Yeah, just like how I kind of blend in with this creature right here, because we're both the color orange, the skate blends in with the rocks, and that is called camouflage. Whoa! Yeah, that helps keep it safe from its predators. Whoa! Oh, check out this tank. Oh, looks like there's some cute fish in there. Hello. Hey. Wow. They're just swimming around and they look like they are having fun. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, looks like some seaweed and some rocks. Yeah, Casey says there's actually an eel in here. Whoa. And she's going to come feed it. Yeah. Hey, Blippi, did you find the wolf eel? She's hiding inside of her den. Sometimes, if she's hungry, she'll come out and say hello. It looks like she has a grumpy face, but she's actually my friend. Sometimes she likes belly rubs and treats. Her favorite is shrimp. Let's see if we can get her to eat. Wow, such cool animals in here. I love all these creatures. Whoa, check it out. Wow, inside this tote, there is a kelp crab. Whoa, do you see him? Whoa, look at him. Here, let me move this piece of kelp. Whoa, there he is. Whoa, the cool thing about this kelp crab, yeah, is it's camouflage. Yeah, he camouflages by eating things. If he starts to eat things that are light brown, then he starts to turn light brown himself. Or if he eats things that are dark brown, like this piece of kelp, then he blends in to that dark brown piece of kelp. Whoa, so cool. Oh, look, a shrimp. Hello, shrimp. 
you are so cute. You want to be pet? Yep, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Oh, it is so cute. Hey, speaking of shrimp, check this out. Whoa, doesn't that look like a shrimp? Yeah, it looks like the shell of the shrimp. Wow. Yeah, shrimp and crab, they do what's called molt. Yeah, that's where the outside of them, their shell, yeah, comes off of them. And this, whoa, <laughs> this is just a shrimp shell because it came off the shrimp. <laughs> oh, look at these critters. Wow, these are both hermit crabs. Whoa, yeah, they're crabs that are inside shells. Whoa, check out what happens when I pick it up. It's gonna go inside the shell. All right. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, yeah, it used to be outside the shell but now it's inside the shell to protect itself. Okay, I'm gonna gently put it back right there. Whoa, look at this tank. Looks like there's some crabs in here, some fish. There's a lot of cool things in here. A lot of seaweed. Oh, do you see all those fish down there? Hello, fish. Hey, are you hungry? Yeah. Hey, check it out. Looks like I have some yummy food for these fish. Yeah, this is actually nutrient-dense food for the fish. Yeah, it's just like you and I eating vegetables, basically. <laughs> really good for us. All right, here you go, fish. All right, all right. Wow, look at all of these shells. They're so pretty. This one is so big. Look at it. Whoa, it's almost as big as my hand. Wow. Okay. Whoa, and this one is so shiny. Wow. Oh, and this one is so pokey. <laughs> wow. Oh, here's another pokey one. But those are little teeny pokes. <laughs> Whoa, that is so cool. Oh, hey, what's this doing here? Look, it's a stuffed animal. And this stuffed animal is a stingray. Wee, wee. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we explore this area and see if we can find any more stuffed animals? <laughs> oh, check it out. A giant sea turtle. Whoa, sea turtles are so cool. They're so graceful, just swimming in the water. Flapping, flapping, flapping. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. We have two salmon. Whoa, looks like one is spawning and the other one is not. Whoa, look at salmon go. Wow, salmon are some cool fish. They get so Big! Yeah, these would be small salmon in the wild. Okay, let me set them right over here so they don't fall in there. Whoa! A giant sea lion! Well, this one would be really teeny, but sea lions get so big and they make the sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> that is so silly. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay. Put you back right there. Whoa, you found another one. Wow, a giant clam. Look, it's like a hard shell. Yeah. Whoa, look, it opened up. And do you see what's inside? Yeah, we found a pearl. Whoa, that is so pretty. Whoa, so shiny. <laughs> I actually heard pearls get created from irritation. I think that's true. Whoa, look down here. Whoa, another shell. Yeah, this is a hermit crab. Yeah, check it out. See a crab? And then it actually goes inside its shell for protection, see? Yeah, it goes like this on the ground. And then it opens up. 
and then it crawls around, and then it goes inside. <laughs> okay, we'll keep you right there. Here you go. <laughs> Whoa, another one. Yeah, this is a fish. And do you see how flat it is? Yeah, it lays down flat. Its two eyes are on top of its body. Yeah, and it just hangs out on the bottom of the seafloor. And this is a halibut. And halibuts can get so big. Yeah, this one would be a small one. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cute. <laughs> do you know what kind of animal this is? Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's a hint. Yeah, this is a seahorse. Yeah, it looks kind of like a horse, huh? Oh, cute swirly little tail. And look at what it has right in its little pouch. Little baby seahorsies. Hey, wow, you're so colorful. Whoa. Okay, okay, let's see. Whoa, a couple more. Yeah. Check this out, a killer whale. Yeah, an orca. Wow, they are so cute. Wow, an octopus. Octopuses are so smart. Yeah, and they have eight long tentacles. Woo, with suckers on the bottom to hold on to things. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh looks like we have some whales right here. Oh, whales can get so big. They get massive and they breathe air. They go and then suck in air and they can go underwater and stay underwater for so long. Oh, hey, look, a beluga whale. Wow, it's so bright and white. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like snow. Yeah. Beluga whales actually love to be in really cold, frigid water. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! Whoa! Check it out! Hey, what is this? This is one of our crab pots, and by golly, we have a lot of crabs in here today. <laughs> yeah, we do! There are so many of them! What kind of crabs are these? These are called graceful or slender crabs, and they look wow. a lot like a Dungeness crab. Have yeah. you ever seen a Dungeness before? Yeah, aren't they a little bigger than that? They sure are. Yeah. These are almost fully grown. Whoa, can we take one out and see it a little closer? Even better, we could probably take two and figure out which one's a boy and which one's a girl. Okay, that sounds like fun! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! <laughs> we just got two crabs in here. All right, okay, how do you tell if it's a boy or a girl on these? Oh, well, that's a great question. I get that a lot. So I like to start with the female crab, the girl crab, and we look at her belly, we flip her over gently on her back, she kind of calms down, and we look for a very wide triangle shape here compared to the boy. And that's because she's gonna have eggs inside her tummy there, and she needs extra room. The boy doesn't need that much room. Okay. So that one is a girl and that one is a boy? You got it, Flippy. Whoa, check it out. Wow, that is really cool. And I like acting like a crab. Wow, wasn't that so much fun learning about marine life together? Yeah, that was awesome. Seeing those cute fish and all those creatures. Wow, it's crazy how they live under the water and you and I live on the land. Yeah, it's really important for you and I to help keep the water nice and clean. Yeah. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, well, <laughs> I'm gonna keep learning. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station.
the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Do you want to draw a sea turtle with me? Yeah, I love sea turtles. They are so cute. I love how they have a shell, and then they can swim underwater. Whoa. All right, first, I'm going to take this green marker and draw the shell. So I'm going to draw a big curved line like that. And then another curved line right there. Woo, and then that looks like the shell, doesn't it? Yeah, shells are really hard. Up here, I'm gonna draw the neck and the head. Whoa, perfect. And I'm gonna color in a circle for the eye and then a smiley face. Yeah, all right, let's draw another curved line like this. Ooh, and another curved line like that. And three more curved lines right up there to complete the shell. And then we need to draw four squares for the legs. Well, actually they're not legs. They're actually fins on sea turtles. Yeah, so then they can swim underwater. Wow, I love sea turtles and I love drawing. If you wanna draw with me some more, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. All right, see you again. Bye bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippy, blippy. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.